Hey guys, this is Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. I'm here with uh, Jason and Garrett from Alex Pro Firearms. These guys are making 100% uh, American-made AR-15s right here in Minnesota. Um, they've also got a great gun shop up here in Alexandria. So they're gonna show us uh, some of the guns that they're doing right now, take us to the shop, and we'll, uh, we'll get a chance to learn a little bit more about these guys, and, and if I'm lucky, I'll get to shoot. Okay, <laughs> so, Jason, Garrett, tell us a little bit about uh, your company and uh, what you guys are up to here. Well, we are, uh kind of an off branch of a machining company. Um, machining company runs about 75 CNC machines. Uh, we've been making gun parts for a couple of years now, and Tom, our owner, our boss, decided that he wanted to come out with his own line of rifles. Yeah. So, in probably middle of last summer, we started yeah. working on stuff, working on prototypes, getting ideas, and uh, we have six different models of 5.56 rifles, um, a couple 300 blackouts, and six different models of 308 at the moment. Awesome, so you guys have put all this together every year. Yep, and actually this this part here actually has only been open and up and running since uh, January 1st. So when I pulled in, there was the ProFab over here, and that's yep. where this whole thing started. Correct. What yep. were you guys manufacturing before you did rifles? Well, we do about Three million parts for players here next door. Oh wow, cool! And Minn Kota trolling motor mounts. Awesome. We a bunch of parts for a bunch of big other industrial. Companies. So you make parts for fun things. Yeah, and it's now, all fun stuff. And now we have the most fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So we got a bunch of rifles up on the wall, and I, I'll tell you the one thing that um, I've been done. Um, you know, as you all know, I've been hanging out at Arnsen lately, and um, and we've seen some of these rifles, and I've seen a few of them in competition. Um, but what really impresses me is the price point. And so starting out maybe over here, we've got your. Uh, Econoline, tell us a bit about how you pulled that off at 800 bucks. Well, the big advantage we have is that we actually make everything in-house, short of the barrels. We don't have one of those machines yet. They're a wee bit expensive. Um, uppers, lowers, bolt carrier groups, triggers, hammers, all that kind of stuff made in-house so we can really cut the cost on the rifles. Um, awesome. And then the middle middle man out well. yeah. and then Vortex has great dealer pricing and pricing on their red dots. So Teamed up with them, hopefully here, and we'll get this get this one out there on the market. I love that strike fire for just I mean for open sights or for you know for irons. It's a fantastic, fantastic piece. And uh, yeah, eight hundred bucks includes the um, the uh, the vortex, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we've got a bunch of carbine there. Yeah, this is kind of the first gun we we came out with. Um, this is kind of basically our standard rifle. Yeah. Again, yeah, all the awesome. same parts in here. The big thing with this one is this is the handguard we designed, okay. um, the T-Mod cool. rail. And I don't know if people have seen that up close, but it is a uh, very yeah. slick rifle. We'll fly some more info. You got the Nathan Boron uh, bolt carrier group on there. Very nice. Very nice rifle. I might pick one of these up. We'll see. The added feature to this is there's a T-Mod slot in here. Okay. So you loosen these four screws. Oh, you can slide, slide right. her up or down wherever you want. Makes sense. There's three all the way around. Very, very cool. So any accessories you want to add on, it's just simple dropping the key mod slot in there and just tighten her down. And these are right around a grand, right? Yeah, MSRP is a thousand bucks on this. Awesome. Fantastic. What else you got on the wall here? Um, we then would jump up to our tack barment. Okay. Uh, kind of a cross between that tactical rifle and that yeah. precision barment hunting rifle that guys want. 18 inch stainless steel match and order components barrel, you know, upper, lower, all that kind of stuff. Nice. Ours again. Um, then we jump to our three gun competition right yeah, here. Yeah, let's pull that down. The boys are going to want to see that one close. A little bit different variant on the tag barn. It has the same barrel, all that kind of stuff, but we ship it with a uh, CMC trigger, our Butcher 16 muzzle brake, uh, UBR stock, all for right around that 1350 price point. Cool. Um, I mean, That's amazing. Tough to beat that at an entry level rifle. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for getting into the game. So this is the, the Butcher, this is their uh, their comp, and uh, you guys know I'm a Titan fan, but that's uh, that pretty damn cool. We've been checking them out. We're gonna do some R&D, or some testing evaluation on these two and check them out, but this is a, it's a hell of a rifle for the money, my God. That was the goal. Yep. <laughs> the name of the Butcher actually came, the engineer's name is Butcher. Okay. His last name's Butcher, and yeah. it took him 16 tries to get it right. <laughs> well, <laughs> Until I was happy with it. <laughs> yeah, so Jason yeah. yeah. was right. And then we jump and do just uh, just kind of your basic varmint hunting rifle. Right. 20 inch, heavier barrel, fluted, uh, camo dip. We do this one also in a snow pattern, a drill camo pattern for the winter time. Yep. And then jump up into that uh, this big, heavy prairie dog hunting, 24 inch bull barrel bench. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to be humping that around anymore. <laughs> no, yeah. definitely not. Uh, We've got a 6.5 Grendel up there, which we're still kind of working um, to figure out what configuration we want to do. Yep. That barrel is awesome. It shoots very, very well. Um, 
the nickel boron carbine stand in there is just something we kind of put together for fun. We're going to see if kind of gauge some interest on that one, and maybe you'll see that on our web. I see that one for weight. So yeah. Yeah. The Cerakoting <laughs> Cerakoting is done down in Lowry, Minnesota, with the Dead Eye Boys. Down there. This doesn't have the whole barrel on it. This has got the truck. Yeah. <laughs> got a good balance. Mm -hmm. Nice gun. All right, and then what else? And then we, we do uh, two pistols, one in two, oh, two three. Yeah. One in three or blackout. Okay. They have our nine inch T mod rail. Yeah. Um, it's a little shorter to cover up that ten and a half inch barrel. We have also designed our own buffer tube for the SIG brace. Okay. Um, and then everything shipped with the SIG brace, obviously. I always I keep accidentally one of these. You know, we are getting right around an inch grouping with just a mil spec trigger and a ten and a half inch barrel out of these in 100 yards. So anybody who thinks that short barrels aren't accurate, no, good. they yeah. they shoot just as well as anything else. Yeah, when you're on or not. There's more than one more than one guy in three gun that's shooting these little short guns because yeah. of the, the you know the, 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 so many hoser targets now. Oh, yeah. yeah, if anybody's heard of Daniel Horner, he does <laughs> pretty good with a ten and a half inch barrel. Yeah, he's okay. He's yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. If you like winning everything, yeah. he's fine. All right, so that's this kind of wall, and then uh, we got some more things over here. Look at over here, we get into our 308 line. Okay, cool. Well, let's um, let's set up for that. The 308s start at 10.99. Cool. MSRP for a 16 inch free flow carbine. Yeah. Um, 16 inch barrel rifle link gas system. We then jump up to our enhanced carbine. Real similar, but we throw an AAC suppressor ready yeah. um, mount on there. Unfortunately, we can't have those in our grade state. No, I know. But then we jump with back pull flip ups <laughs> and we go to a CTR or an MOB yeah, style. Cool. Just a little bit of added The threads aren't illegal, it's the can that goes on there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, the guys down in Texas or anything, they maybe want to do this for pig hunting. Oh, you do have bushman 308 as well. Yep, that, uh, those actually should be back tomorrow from the plater. Cool. Oh, so we should have those on the website pretty soon. Um, we jump over to the Hunter and the Painted Hunter. Yep. Um, again, just kind of that basic, more hunting setup. Yep. And then our big target 308s. Uh, as you can see, Mark, these things shoot like a house fire. That's badass. That's uh, six shots and roughly a half inch, three eighths of an inch. Yeah, cool. Um, I do it, in, do it in targets or tan Cerakote and all black. 1925 MSRP on that top one with the bipod and upgrade trigger. Someday I'll have the balls shoot 308. <laughs> oh, you can shoot a 308 today. What would you do today? No, no, it's not that I can't shoot it, it's just not having the balls to actually compete with it. So oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I need the extra 10 rounds in my magazine. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, so then there's another bunch of guns over here. This is your uh, Cerakoting lines, right? Yeah, these are just... Uh, our basic carbines yep. that, that we make that we talked about over there for our thousand bucks yep. and we had the guys down at Deadeye just do some dipping just to show that we can do a lot of different customizing yeah, that's cool. here. Um, this is a fraction of the patterns that they offer. Right They've got like seven or eight hundred different colors of Cerakote so those guys do a really good awesome. job and not to mention they're 20 minutes down there. Alright let's talk a little bit about the, the store here. Um, so just for the record we've got this whole wall <coughs> lovely right here. All good stuff. Got a bunch of the carbines going. Again, it's, it's feeling like Mark might go home with one of those, but we'll see how that goes. And then in-house, you've also got the uh, you know scopes and everything here. So if you're in Alexandria and, and you need a gun shop, these guys have it. We're going to take Mark back here and show him where we cut all the bar stock and turn it into a bulk carrier group. That's really how we got into the gun business was a couple of big companies wanted to make bulk carrier groups for them. Yep. Um, so that's kind of what we like to call our bread and butter. Awesome. So that's the bar stock. That's your bolt carrier group right there. Right on. And it goes into a magic work of art. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, so here's a bunch of finished, these are all turns. Yep. Finished waiting in to get put in the machine to get the slots and the four to six screws in there. Okay. And then we send them out and get them thrown and hard popped in. Awesome. So these are all future bolt carrier groups. All right, so we take them over here after they get turned down, back in turning, mm -hmm. and we put a, this bugger right here, he puts them right here in the machine, and we put the gas key holes, the camp in holes, and your cotter key hole. So we're putting all these holes in here, making these cuts. Yep. Yep, right here. There they are. There you go. 10,000 of them a month. So this machine, 
sit there and you set them in, I put the four to fifth notches on them. Oh yeah, fair enough. Cool. Anyone jealous right now? Oh yeah, we can build the triggers over here. Yeah, here's a, here's a hammer. So we put it in the fixture here. It cuts, these cuts here, this cut back here. Yep. Turns her down into something like this. Very nice. So on a percentage basis, what do you guys think you're making in-house for these rifles? Probably roughly 95. Really? Uh, you know, lack of plastic stuff. Yep. Some of the little baby springs we don't do because we're not a stamping company. Yep. And the barrels. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if you Okay, here at ProFab, this is Dave, our production manager. He oversees all the gun parts and all the other machining that we do. Cool. He's going to explain what wire EDM is compared to Brochine. Awesome. So what we do here, the Brochine actually distorts the material. So what we do is we use a wire EDM with a ten thousandths of an inch thick wire that takes a current, electrical current, and we actually burn the shape into the product. So we don't distort the material in any, any way at all. Okay. So that's how we put the magwell in the parts. Awesome. Yeah. And that's all done right here. Right here. It takes about a half an hour apart. It takes a lot longer to do it this way, but it's a much better product. Very cool. You see the wire yeah. feeding around. The wire there. feeds down, and as it contacts the part, an electrical current comes through, and it actually burns or explodes the material out of the way. Very precision, very fine. Right now we're doing 80% lowers. We also do the full blown. Yep. So this is an extrusion. So this is a getting pushed into a sheet. Okay. Loading in the machine here. Yep. Comes out like that. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right guys, so we're out in the shop now, and like every good shop, there's a little bit of clutter. But this is where all the assembly happens for the guns? Yeah, we, uh, once we get the parts from the machine shop next door, we build all the guns, you know, here on this table, and we got the lower parts assembly behind Mark there. Right. Um, so yeah, like you said, a little cluttered, but we just kind of put parts where we can, and this is not a real big area, we are a startup. No, that's right. All right, so uh, we've seen the shop, we've seen the warehouse. We've seen manufacturing, and I have to be honest with you, this is much bigger production than I thought it was going to be. Um, what's next for you guys? What are you working on next? We've got a lot of different irons in the fire right yep. now. Um, an adjustable gas block, which you cannot see, but you'll get to, get to test it out. It's on that pre gun <laughs> rifle. I'm going to let you shoot over yep. there. Um, we saw this over in the shop. Yeah, tell me more about that. Now, I, the concern is in the shop footage, guys, is that we get good audio. So um, this is something that we picked up when we were out there that I'm highly interested in. This is your new three-gun handguard. Yep, this is uh, something we used or designed um, kind of specifically for the gamer rifle. Um, still runs off the same barrel nut as our T-Mod rail, um, a barrel nut that we think is superior to everything else out there. The lockup that you get with this yeah. when you grab a hold of our rifle is so solid. It's not going to move, it's not going to flex, anything like that. So we kept the same diameter on the rear, but then we taper it down, yeah. put a little bit of finger grooves in there so you can get that, that proper kind of race grip. Lighten it up here, yeah, that's um, really nice. and then left left the chunk of the Picatinny rail up front. Yep. So for the guys running limited, um, yep. or the guy that even just wants a backup site, yeah, if you want the can, can, there, can, can yeah. still have that front location for those. And that's a fifteen. Yep, yep. We're only doing that one in fifteen. We do the T mod in twelve and a half and fifteen and a half, but uh, for the three gunners, all we're all we're looking it's for really is really comfortable. It yep. really, really is. It's not heavy. No, it isn't at all. It's a really, it's a really, really good design. Yeah. I wanted to check out the recoil on your three gun rifle because I, I, I haven't shot it yet. Yep. And yep. Um, you know, I, you know, mine of course has <coughs> been pretty well um, decked out. It's all super light, you know, parts. It's mostly JP and the fire control yep. system and all that stuff. Although uh, CMC Triggers is sending me some stuff to try out, so I'm um, sort that. Yeah, and Ruben. Ruben's awesome. Dude. <laughs> Buy stuff from Ruben. Yeah, and no. We're, yeah, while we're here, let's just make a quick mention that Vortex is another company that's up here in the tri-state. And um, I don't know that there's a company out there that supports shooting sports any more than that. No. no. Um, I helped put together a match earlier in the spring and called them up, and there wasn't even any question 
Yeah. They were like, yeah, just let us know what you want. We'll give it to you. We'll send some stuff to you. So, and then they've also kind of jumped on for next year, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. And we, um, <laughs> yeah, well, what we're talking about, for those of you who don't know, that the, this, this shop and, and Jason and his friends put together the, the Jeff Kirkwood World Memorial event, which, um, and meeting those those fighters at the, at the last match of the Tactical Shotgun Championship was, was kind of unbelievable. But um, these guys are doing a great thing for Task Force Dagger, and um, you know this year we did a very last minute thing and dropped a couple of, uh, of shotgun mod packages, which uh, was of course great for our business as well. So if those of you who are out there who are manufacturers get behind these games, guys, because that's where the shooters are. Arms and Arms, one of very few companies that seems to understand that, that actually sells guns for retail, yep. and um, and it's a really really big deal. And you know this year, um, I think that, you know the goal right now is to donate a, a fully modded out Glock race pistol to you guys. Be awesome. Yeah, it'd be huge. Three gun people spend a lot of money, <laughs> and they are not willing to skimp on products. They want the best yep. because they're wanting to perform the best. Yep. So. Get behind three guns. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to do a, a full review on your all's carbine. I picked one up today. Um, these guys are nice enough to help me out a little bit with the price, but I do spend my money on the guns because I do not want anybody uh, checking out a review thinking that I just came in here and got a gun and took it home. And, and yeah, we're charging. Yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely right. So, um, awesome. We're going to shoot. Yep, we're going to go shoot a lot of ammo right now. Very nice. Super soft recoiling. Yeah. Better try it out. Yeah, let me give it a go. It runs really good. Very nice. I love my job. Yeah, right? Burn them down. It really does mitigate the recoil well. Yeah, that doesn't suck. <laughs> All right, guys, well, this has been an amazing tour. I'm really grateful for you to have us out here and shoot this blast. And, um, you know, these guys, uh, you can get their guns directly through their website at APF Firearms. Um, and we encourage you to do that. I'm going to take this and put it in my pocket. That's what I do. This is nice. <laughs> We're anodizing in the shop now. Oh, all right. Yeah, so I'll just stick this in here. But um, you can, of course, check out Hawkeye Ordnance at uh, HawkeyeOrdnance.com. You can get us uh, on our Facebook page, Hawkeye Ordnance. You guys also have one, I'm assuming, for Alex Pro Firearms. Yep, uh, just Alex Pro Firearms. That's fantastic. And then, um, of course, this is the YouTube channel you're watching, and uh, we need you to subscribe, guys, because the more subscriptions we get, the more guys like this are happy to have us come out and check out toys so you can uh, decide whether you want them for your gear. So thanks so much for watching, and God bless.